Okay guys, so what do we have here? We have the container again with uh, vegetable oil in it which is kind of uh, like a grease because it's pretty cold outside uh, Two shut offs, right? One needle shut off, needle valve and a regular shut off and then a little pipe coming down into these containers here and this is pretty much a stainless steel uh, utensil holder, I guess, from the kitchen and three bolts in it, just uh, suspend the pipe and then uh, two, two stainless steel uh, dishes Why two? Well, <clears throat> because they hold the temperature better the, 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 that oil needs to, be, needs to be really, really hot so that's why I have two and this one goes in here, pretty much like that and that's to feed the air through the holes and then this is the chimney pipe okay that goes in there, I'll show you how and then uh, this one is the extension pipe, I'll show you how again just to extend the chimney and this is pretty much running uh, out of any any um, blower or any power just running by itself okay so I'm gonna put it together and uh, we're gonna get it started so I'm gonna actually show you how easy it is to put it together okay so pretty much uh, this, this pipe have to go inside here This has to go inside here. Actually, go first. This. And then this chimney is going to go on top like this. Okay. And I think we can get it started. Chimney is not straight, but it's going to be fine as long as it's stable so let's turn on the grease right yeah, it's fine and a little kerosene get it started and touch I'm running out of gas here Yes. That's not good. I'll be right back.
so again right now this is just the kerosene burning. Let me get this in my hand so you can see the whole setup here. Chimney is crooked like a hell, but okay, there's the chimney. And pretty much here is just pipe dripping the oil. I'm gonna probably stop right now because it's we'll just slow it down a little bit because it's going really fast and it's full enough too. Okay, and right now we have about uh, probably about an I would say about an uh, at least like an inch of inch of oil in, in the pan or in the in the bowl. Okay. I'm going. That's kind of. That's kind of too much oil for the comfort here. You really need about a quarter inch or half inch. I would say. So I'm just gonna shut it down for a minute until it will start burning, and then open it up again. And from here, it's just going to start roaring. Again, from another from another angle. Pretty much, that's what it is. And a long chimney, you do need a long chimney for the draft to pull the air. Okay. I forgot to mention that this pipe here actually has a few holes around, quarter inch holes. Just to get a little more air for the uh, vaporized uh, oil but right now we have the oil burning already and it's starting to produce some really nice heat That took just about a couple of minutes, I would say. Okay, there is no blower whatsoever. It's just, uh, it's just pretty much free flow. Starting to form up nicely. <coughs> Again, I can show you from the distance the whole thing. Yeah, the chimney is crooked as a hell, but that really doesn't matter. But that's here it is. Okay. I'm gonna put it back on the stand and give it a couple of minutes to make it nice red hot. Let's get a little bit closer here. I think I'm going to turn on the oil because we're getting 
dry here. In the meantime, I will explain to you how this works, okay? Pretty much uh, what you want to accomplish here is the flow of the air coming through the holes, feeding the fire, and uh, then getting out of chimney. So, let's say if you're gonna have those holes too big and too much air coming in, it's not gonna be strong draft enough to to kind of uh, to kind of it, it it's it works like a like a wind pretty much okay if you're gonna blow into the fire you will see the fire will just just uh, really be happy so you gotta be like right in the middle and just experiment with the holes you know so so you will get the perfect uh, combination with the perfect airflow and we are getting really nice red hot here let me check on the oil
me share with you around. I think I'm running out of oil again. But I think that's enough. I'm just gonna let it die. Yep, I just shut the oil, so this is gonna slowly calm down and die. But that's all it's to it, you know, it's just to get the perfect flow, perfect mixture of the air, and perfect flow. There it is. No smoke coming out. Okay. I think that's good for now. Just fairly, fairly simple thing. Uh, as long as you get the longer chimney on it, then you know you can experience with the bottom holes and see what's going to take it. Okay, guys. So till next time.